What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, and I nigga upgraded. You see, I'm over here on the couch, player, and I got my Black Men a Perfect t-shirt on, so you niggas go buy my shit, all right? But anyways, thank you for being here. Great episode today. Take me out real quick, though. Stop the damn show. Nicki Minaj. Can't stay off the goddamn internet, man. Always some BS going on with her. And she do got a ghetto-ass baby daddy. Jeopardy music. I'm trying to find this nigga's name. What is this nigga's name? This nigga's name is... God damn, I can't even read. Kenneth Petty. Ain't that a bitch? Because the nigga's name is Petty. That's a real good name for what we about to be talking about. Before we get into Kenneth Petty, though, let's take it back. Nicki Minaj, Lil Wayne. Remember them? Young Money. They was torn all over the United States. Young Money was a subsidiary of Cash Money. Lil Wayne was doing his thing. They was selling out everywhere. Nigga, it was cracking. My man Drake had it popping, right? And he's going to come back into this. But Drake... And Nicki Minaj was really dominating the hip hop industry, man, for a while. The problem comes in here is Nicki Minaj, as she started to go up, her relationships go down. She's the kind of broad that never gets a man on her level. Remember Meek Mill? Stop the show. Now, my man Meek Mill, he can rap, but... Meek Mill is not on the same level of Nicki Minaj, and Nicki Minaj and Meek Mill couldn't get along. But even though he's not on her level, this nigga Jay Petty is like the basement. Okay, if if if, if Meek Mill is not on the level, this nigga is nowhere around. I don't know where she found him from, but the nigga got all kind of charges, nigga. He'd have been in jail, all type of gang injunctions, just. He on Instagram with the gun. He just doing a lot. He is pretty much not even on the same level as Meek Mill. But Nicki Minaj is professionally doing very well. But check this out, right? My man Drake, he's an alpha. You know what I'm saying? He, remember, you know, he roasted up Meek Mill, their little battle or whatever. Drake is the man. Everybody loves Drake. He's still the cream of the crop. When we talk about this, you know, hip hop industry and all of that. But whenever Drake meets up with Nicki Minaj, he be flirting with her like, yeah, you know, <laughs> I see that ass still fat, you know, like that. And Nicki Minaj be like, boy, stop, boy, stop. But check this out. Her husband, Petty, don't like that. Right. And supposedly what he did was a sucker move. Stop the show. The nigga told Nicki Minaj. Man, you better block that nigga Drake if you want to be with me. Nicki Minaj like, what? Yeah, you need to block that nigga on social media. So, what does Nicki Minaj go and do? She want to make her man happy, so she blocks Drake on social media, on IG, on Twitter, unfollowed him because the husband, Petty, who's a petty ass nigga, wanted her to do that. Let me get into this, because some of you brothers are like this, man. Y'all are some simps. You niggas are disgusting, some of y'all, all right? You mad because another dude got your girl's attention, like a Drake. Drake probably been hitting Nicki Minaj off on the low, but we just don't know what's going on. But now you want her to block him? Nigga, if she's feeling him, she gonna still talk to him regardless. She might block him on social media, but that don't mean she gonna block him on text message. That don't mean she ain't gonna block his phone number. If any woman, if you gotta tell your woman to block a nigga's social media, that means she likes him more than you. That's what that means. He's the alpha and you are the, nigga, you're not even the beta male, you the zeta male. What? You just a struggle ass negro. That's what Jay Petty is. You broke. You dusty, you're not on the level of Drake, you a simp. And you out there, you know what I'm saying, making your girl block somebody else because you are so insecure? 
Oh my God. And that's a lot of you niggas out there. Man, you better block your ex-boyfriend or I'm out. Let me tell you this. If I have to feel that a woman is checking another dude out on Instagram or Facebook, she ain't got to block him. She can have him. I'll tell her straight up, go with that nigga. Because I ain't got no time to be trying to make you choose up. If you want to be with me, you already know it. I ain't got to tell you nothing. But obviously, she don't want to be like that with you, Petty, and you still mad. But guess what? Drake's still going to hit that. Next video. All right, I got another story, the last one, because I'm tired of you niggas. I got to get up out of here. Um, I never watched this show, but it's called Jeopardy Music. Y'all know I can't read. My 600-pound life. Okay, so basically this show is about big obese MFers uh, that be putting syrup on air particles. How the hell do you get to be 600 pounds? What do you got to do to do that? But anyways, her name was Brienne Diaz, her right there, okay? She's so big, she omnipresent, she's just everywhere. Um, she had a husband named Rick. But she was in Houston and left her because she went to go get weight loss surgery. So stop the show. 600 pounds. Your big ass don't want to get out there and walk or exercise or eat right. So you, you know, want to go out there and get the weight loss surgery. So you leave your husband at home in Orlando. Funny thing is she came back and found out that her husband Rick had a side piece side chick. I'm assuming somebody who wasn't 600 pounds. Let me, baby, let me, let me just talk to you for a second, okay? All of you, all 600 pounds of you, what did you expect? Okay? So nobody got that kind of time you're waiting in your big ass to get it together? 600 pounds, though? I mean, no, 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 no. <laughs> when the last time you seen your feet? <laughs> I'm just, I, I'm curious to that. 600 pounds, nigga. You can't go nowhere with the man. I mean, you just basically, like, like you know, normal people. You know, baby want to go to movies? Sure. But your big ass, baby want to go to movies? You can't go nowhere. Because if you get in the car, you're going to mess the shocks up. The brakes going to be messed up. The, the, the left side of the tire going to go to flat automatically. You can't even do nothing. And then, let's say you want to get intimate with you. When you take your shirt off, what's gonna happen? Let's just be real. I'm not trying to even I'm, just, just imagine that. All of them folds and all of them rolls and stuff and all of that sweat and all of that, like that there. It's gonna really mess up his imagination. How he gonna do something with you? Then he gotta wait to put you all on the plane. Imagine that. You going all through TSA security check. You people, you hiding peanut butter all over you. You know, I mean, it's just all bad. When you finally get to the hospital and get that surgery. By that time, he's tired of you. So of course he gonna go out and get somebody who can actually fit in a damn chair seat. Now you wanna call him out for being a cheater. You have been cheating him out of everything in the relationship. You have been cheating him out of uh, buy, you know, buy a ticket for two people. Cause when you go there, it was like five people. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you been cheating on the fact that he can't take you nowhere. Okay. You embarrassing the man everywhere you go. What do you mean? You've been cheating on him the whole relationship. Okay. Let that man have a side piece. He been dealing with two women already. You 600 pounds. You at least three women. The man is in a polygamous relationship <laughs> with your big ass by your damn self. What you mean? Another person ain't gonna hurt. You know what I'm saying? You already about three to four people by your damn self. So one more person ain't gonna hurt. Now, if you really was serious about being in a relationship, you would have lost the weight a long time ago. Because I'm pretty sure he talked to you about all of that gravy and crackers and cheese and cheeseburgers and all that stuff you've been eating. I know he was telling you to stop doing that, but you didn't want to listen. So now he got somebody that can actually fit in a regular size dress and don't got to use bed sheets for toilet paper like your big ass, and now you want to get mad at him. How about you get mad at yourself, okay? The man shouldn't even, if it was me, I'd have left your ass a long time ago, all right? 
So guys, I gotta get up out of here. I am too dark skinned. What? And I did say skinned it right as slang. I gotta get up out of here, man. It's hot. I got company over here actually right now. Uh, shout out to everybody but Kim the comic. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go party, go out here and smoke some of this shisha now. You know it ain't no tweed or weed. Y'all know I'm Christian. I don't do none of that shit. But check me out though. Subscribe, hit the bell. If you ugly, don't subscribe to me. I got enough ugly niggas on my channel already. Ugly girls, only the cute ones subscribe, okay? Because two ugly people don't need to be having no babies and like that. But anyways, check me out. It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Make sure you go to the comment pinned to the top. I know some of y'all are dumb and you don't really know what that means. That means when you go to the comment section, the first comment pinned to the top, all my information is there, email. But I'm gonna tell you this, please do not email nothing stupid. I will block you. I don't, don't be emailing me, tell me your whole life story. Um, you can't find no girlfriend. I'm gonna just block you. I'm just be real with you right there. I don't got that kind of time. Um, go find Jesus or get some professional help, nigga. I don't have time to be talking to you. But any normal emails, send me there. Patreon.com backslash nigga or manosphere. You can go ahead and do that. And also the black men are perfect t-shirts. I know you want to look good like this. It's hard because I'm beautiful, but still go buy one. The Teespring pinned to the top. Only $29.99. I know what's the weekend. You niggas got paid today. So stop playing with me. I know you got the money. Go support your boy. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I'm out.